This will be an informational video about caffeine use and how it affects the body and mind, specifically through the lens of sports performance. Before I talk about the benefits and disadvantages of caffeine, I first want to go through a brief background of caffeine and its usage. Many people utilize caffeine early in the day in the form of coffee or tea as a way to wake up and jumpstart their day. It is the most commonly used drug in America, with over 90% of the population consuming some form of caffeine regularly. Caffeine is found naturally in a variety of plants around the world, such as tea leaves and coffee beans. One of the reasons caffeine is so popular is the fact that it is developed naturally. Caffeine is also a psychoactive drug, which can be defined as a substance that changes the way an individual's brain and central nervous system function. Since caffeine is psychoactive, it can cause behavioral and physical dependence when consumed over a prolonged period of time. So the question to ask is, is the potential dependence factor strong enough to outweigh the benefits provided by caffeine? Well, there are many potential benefits that come with the usage of caffeine. Caffeine has been shown to temporarily reverse the negative effects of sleep deprivation, however, no supplement is able to counteract the effects of sleep deprivation over a continuous period of time. Caffeine has also been shown to improve physical endurance, cognitive performance, specifically the ability to remain alert, general mood, and how the brain perceives fatigue. Many of these benefits would be extremely beneficial for athletes during training and competitive performance. The fact that caffeine is naturally formed makes it sound more appealing to people, but it also means that it is easy to acquire and consume. While the taste of coffee and tea can be a bit polarizing, there are many flavored drinks that contain caffeine and taste great, thus making caffeine more easily consumed. Although caffeine can seem like a great substance without many drawbacks, there are actually a couple of negative effects when it comes to consuming caffeine. Issues of caffeine consumption include abuse and dependence. It can be very easy to depend on caffeine every day. Eliminating caffeine after chronic use can lead to drowsiness and issues such as headaches and fatigue. Caffeine can also induce varying effects from person to person, which makes it difficult to predict how it will affect certain individuals. Another issue with caffeine is caffeine intoxication, otherwise known as caffeinism. Symptoms of caffeinism can include anxiety, insomnia, intestinal issues, and tachycardia. In extreme instances, caffeinism can even include death. The NCAA is actually one of the only organizations that has guidelines regulating caffeine usage. The way it is regulated is by the concentration of caffeine in the urine of the athlete. The NCAA allows up to 15 micrograms per milliliter of urine which equates to around 6 to 8 cups of coffee around 2 to 3 hours before the event. So while caffeine is regulated, small amounts of caffeine consumption would be allowed before a competition. My recommendations for you would be to only utilize caffeine when absolutely necessary and try not to make it a habit in order to avoid the mental and physical dependence that can come about with chronic caffeine usage. If you have to stay up until 2 or 3 a.m. studying and have an early morning practice or competition the next day, then caffeine consumption would probably be beneficial. However, no amount of caffeine will be able to offset the effects of inadequate sleep. You also may want to try and avoid the potential disadvantages of caffeine use, such as anxiety, considering anxiety levels among college students can already be elevated.